In this lesson, we're going to learn how to compare ratios that have rates and prices. And this actually comes in handy a lot when you're going out shopping and you want to compare prices to see which deal is better. First, we're going to look at a word problem that helps us to figure out the best deal when we're shopping. At Super Shopper, you can buy six cans of soup for $5.40. You can buy the same kind of soup at Walmart for $3 for four cans. Which is the better deal? Well, to compare these prices and see which one is the better deal, it would be helpful to break it down and see the cost for one can. In other words, if we can figure out the unit price at each store, we'll be able to tell which store has the better deal. So let's see at the information that we have. We know that Super Shopper has six cans of soup for $5.40. Walmart has $3 for four cans. So we'll need to set those up as ratios in order for us to find the unit price. So at Super Shopper, we can set that up as a fraction as $5.40 over six cans. And remember, when we're working with money and we set up a ratio, we want it to be at the numerator. And now we can use division to figure out the unit rate. So we'll do $5.40 divided by six, which equals 0 0.90 or 90 cents. So that tells us that at Super Shopper, it's 90 cents per can. And at Walmart, we have $3 for four cans. So as a fraction, that's $3 over four cans, keeping the money at the numerator. And we can use division, three divided by four will equal 0 0.75 or 75 cents per can. And of course, when we're shopping, the better deal means the lower price. So since Walmart is 75 cents per can, that means that Walmart is the better deal because it has a lower unit price. And here's our second example. Jalen can run 60 meters in nine seconds and Kayla can run 80 meters in 12 seconds. Who is the faster runner? If we set up a ratio using how far they run for how many seconds, we can convert that to a unit rate to compare their speeds and see who runs faster. So for Jalen, we have 60 meters in nine seconds. And for Kayla, we have 80 meters in 12 seconds. And when we set up these ratios, since one of our values involves time, we want that value to be in the denominator. So for Jalen, we'll have 60 meters over nine seconds, keeping the seconds in the denominator. And we can convert this to a unit rate using division. 60 divided by nine gives us 6.67 when we round it off. So we can say that Jalen runs 6.67 meters per second. And for Kayla, we have 80 meters over 12 seconds. 80 divided by 12 equals 6.67. So Kayla also runs at 6.7 meters per second. So we have the same speed for both runners. So we will say that neither runner is faster because Jalen and Kayla run at the same rate. So remember, when you want to compare values, you can set up a ratio as a fraction and then convert them to a unit rate or unit price if you're dealing with money. And then you can compare those two unit rates or unit prices to see which one is the better deal or faster runner or whatever you're looking for depending on the word problem.